Hi, my name is Sarah and this is Amelia and I want to talk to you today about restraining brachycephalic cats. So these um, types of cats can include breeds like Scottish Folds like Vivian, Persians or British Shorthairs and they deserve a little special, um, just a little extra discussion because anatomically they're less tolerant of any inflammation um, or lack of oxygen um, inhaled because of their small noses and their kind of smushy faces. So um, for Brachy's phallic cats, we just have to be really careful to keep them um, safe from that extra stress and we avoid techniques like scruffing in cats. These cats also are a little bit notorious for having attitudes in hospital. And while some of them, like Vivian's a really nice cat, um, she gets a little fussy with nail trims and we should always kind of just go slow with them. But nowadays, if you are scruffing Persians or Breaking Spellic cats, I, I'd really recommend that you think about better ways to approach restraining them that are safer uh, for the patients. So one thing we can do, and when we're, I'm just gonna use this as a demo, is put an e-collar on them. The e-collar provides a barrier um, just to kind of keep us safe when we're handling them. So Vivian doesn't love it, but you can see um, that it keeps her from being able to kind of reach us. So um, they have pretty abnormal dentation um, in their teeth, but they definitely can bite you and they, they may try. So an e-collar, um, is a nice substitute for a muzzle, where muzzles and brachycephalic hats just don't stay on them. They just don't have the head. I think it's just a combination of their necks being about as wide as their head, um, so it's hard to keep them on them. So an e-collar is a really great um, tool to use. So another option we can use is a towel, and this is one of our favorites here. So we just roll a towel and we use it around their necks, kind of like a turtleneck. <laughs> and that allows me to restrain her without scruffing or putting any um, extra pressure on one part of her neck. Um, so doing that, you'll be able to see I can roll her to the side like this and more gently restrain her. I also like using blankets to help um, just the, protect the person that's either drawing the blood or using the nail trimmers in addition to having the rolled towel. So now we are gonna trim Miss Vivian's nails and show you some of those techniques. As the cats go, Vivian's pretty good, um, but some of them can be a little bit spicier. The other thing that's easy to do is just do like a C hold behind their heads. Um, and I'm gonna do a combination with her. Okay. okay and then I'm gonna just stick one leg out I'm going to hold behind the elbow. <laughs> Good girl. Well, that one's a little long. Yeah, Back you could. To that one. Yeah. Good girl. It's okay. Good girl. Okay. That's one foot down. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this bottom foot. Tuck the front one in. It's okay. There you go. Got a little stuck there. Okay, good girl. Oh, goodness. It's okay, Viv. We'll get snack after this. So when we're doing this, I'm not having to restrain the towel a lot. Um, I'm not pinching down too hard, and I'm watching really closely to make sure that she's still breathing comfortably. Um, they, you know, they don't, you don't ever want to, like, wrap this so tight that you're choking them. Um, and Vivian did really well for that. But sometimes they do start having a hard time breathing and you may need to uh, provide supplemental oxygen as well. So Vivian did really well. Um, I always like to pair this up with a snack. Vivian, are you willing to eat? Yeah. Um, just so that they don't have a negative association with us. Thanks for forgiving us. <laughs> but that's some tips on restraining breaking spell at cats.